it may not really be that bad. We are going to be able to estimate the radian measure of an angle shown in a picture. <coughs> We're going to be able to find a point on a unit circle given one of the coordinates in the quadrant in which the point lies. We're going to determine the coordinates of the point on a unit circle um, given some other point on there. We're going to talk about coterminal angles. We're going to convert between radians and degrees. We're going to look at linear speed of an object traveling in a circle. What kind of objects travel in circles? Moons? Mm -hmm. eh, not always. <laughs> Cars doing donuts. Any object normally travels in a circle. What? Earth? Earth? Yeah. What? A Ferris wheel. And if you turn it on its side, you can think of it as a merry-go-round. You, know, you don't have to really hunt for these. <laughs> they do exist. <laughs> so we can talk about their linear speed. If they were going in a straight line, how fast would they be going if we were to take the circular distance that they went and straighten it all out? And then we're going to look at arc length on a circle. And you drive a school bus. <laughs> Glad my kids went home. <laughs> <laughs> unit circle. What is a unit circle? Anybody know? Mm -hmm. What? A circle of units. <laughs> no, what is a unit circle? It's not related to circumference. Does that really have uh, all the different angles? No, there aren't actually the angles already put into the unit circle. I know a lot of people claim that's what that thing is, but that's not really Isn't what it is. all the points and stuff? No, I think you're talking about the same thing he is. Let's start with here is my lovely unit circle. As everybody pointed out, my circle is centered at 0, 0. And it has a radius 1. That means one of the points on the circle is 1, 0. Another point is 0, 1. A third point is negative 1, 0. And a fourth point is, oops, got cut off, 0, negative 1. Now, we want to talk, most people have no problem with degrees. How many degrees are there when you go all the way around the circle once? 360. How many radians are there when you go all the way around the circle once? So we got to vote for 4, we got to vote for 2 pi. Well, let's take a look. And where are the radians? If I tell you, okay, you go 1 radian, how far would that be around that circle? No, it's not going to be half. It's not 180. It's not 90. No, it's not minutes. That's degrees. Degrees, minutes, seconds are all related. Radians are separate. People have problems with radians. So let's talk about our unit circle. I'm going to try to get it to stay up. So here's my unit circle. Expanded because they get really big. Here is the length of okay, come on. Here is the length of the radius of my unit circle. The length of the radius of a unit circle is one radian. So if when I am measuring angles from on my unit circle, I always start from one zero. If I am measuring a positive angle, I go in the counterclockwise direction to measure my angle. If I'm measuring an angle in the neg a negative angle, I'm going in the counterclockwise direction to do my measurement. Now, did I just say that wrong? This is clockwise, isn't it? I'm going in a clockwise direction for negatives, counterclockwise for positives. Positive angles are measured counterclockwise. Negative angles are measured clockwise. So by going down first. And you always start from one zero. Now it is presumed that your angle is always in standard position. Standard position means that the vertex of the angle is at zero, zero. The initial side of the angle, that's where it starts, is sitting on the x-axis. And 
then the terminal side of the angle is the other side of the angle somewhere out here or wherever it's going to be where the angle stops. Now here's the deal about angles that you probably didn't learn in geometry. But I know I didn't teach it. Bless you. The angle is not just those two lines. It is the process of getting to the other side. So the angle is not just like this piece, but it is the movement to get to that piece. So when we're measuring an angle, what we're measuring is how far we had to move, how many radians, how many degrees we had to move to get to the from the initial side to the terminal side. So this is why it is possible to have an angle that measures more than 360 degrees. You can have a measure, angle that measures 720 degrees, which means you start here and you go around in the positive direction until you get to 720 degrees. Did I just double this? Yes, I did. And end up back here. Now, if you just look at that without in a static drawing, you can't tell that you've gone anywhere. So that's why you have to indicate your movement when you draw your angles. But now let's go back to our radian. So here's my radian. I'm going to start measuring right here, around to here, have this go around the outside of my unit circle, and oh, it's going to stay long enough for me to get a marker, and mark right here. Approximately right here is one radian. Notice that's not all the way up to 90 degrees. 90 degrees and one radian don't match up. So then I'm going to start right there. And I'm going to measure two, two radians. That would be approximately right here. This is two radians. And again, I'm saying approximately because you may notice my circle's moving. Up and down. What do you think three radians is going to be? How do I know it's not 180? What is 180 in terms of the, what is halfway around the circle? If I was to tell you to, here we go. This circle has a radius of one. What is its circumference? Two. Or five. No. Yeah, so it's two pi r, but r is one, so it's two pi. So all the way around the circle is going to be 2 pi. So all the way around. What then would be halfway around the circle? Pi. So that's right here. What is pi in terms of a decimal number, approximately? 3.1415. So where's 3 radians going to be? Just before halfway, right? So hopefully my radians will come out right. Ooh. It came out to be just before halfway, right there. So this is three radians. Where do you think four is going to be? Approximately. Maybe I should ask this. How many of you know about quadrants in your in your coordinate plane? Good. What quadrant do you think four will be, four radians will be in? Yeah. Looks like three. Those of you who don't remember quadrants, you remember the place where everything is positive, both your x and your y coordinates are positive? That's quadrant one. And then you number quadrants <coughs> in um, counterclockwise order. So this is quadrant two, where your x's are negative, but your y's are positive. Quadrant three is where both your x's and y's are negative. And quadrant four is where your x's are positive and your y's are negative. So this, you think, is going to be in quadrant three. So let's go put it around. Oh, yeah, it looks good. So right here is four radians. Marker's dying. Where do you think five radians will be? 